Yo, what up? I'm Josh from Budget Church Live Streaming. As churches, one of the things that we all really want to do is put lyrics at the bottom of our screen so that people can sing along to the worship songs. But for some reason, a lot of people actually struggle with that, myself included. So I'm going to show you all the simplest way to get lyrics showing up on the lower thirds of your streams. First of all, if you're not familiar with the term lower thirds, it really just refers to showing graphics on the lower part of your screen during a broadcast. It doesn't actually have to take up a third of the screen, that's just kind of jargon at this point, but really it's just anything on the bottom of the screen, whether it's lyrics, or somebody's name, or a Bible verse, or whatever it is. So, how do we get that content to actually show up on our stream? Well first, we need to actually figure out what content we're going to be sending to our stream. For the for purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to be using ProPresenter 7 running on this computer here. This will work with any kind of presentation software, but just know that the settings will look a little bit different for you. So let's start with some basic lyrics. You can see we've got this slide, and it's just got lyrics smack dab in the middle of the screen, just like we would use in our room. We need these slides to have just a simple black background. If you normally use a motion background or some sort of graphic during your services, you're going to have to make sure you're not sending that to your stream, whether that's by editing your looks and not sending that layer, or by using a completely separate presentation computer. Whatever works best for you. Now, make sure that you've got a cable running from your presentation computer over to your switcher. For this example, we're going to be using a Blackmagic ATEM constellation. So if you have anything from the ATEM line, all of this is going to look very familiar to you. If you're using a different type of switcher, you'll still be able to do this, but it'll just look a little bit different. If we look at our multi-view, we can see that our lyrics are showing up under slides over in the corner here. We can go ahead and take that live, but that's not going to do us a lot of good because we want to layer this over the rest of our stream. So just showing them full screen isn't really going to help us much. In order to do this, we're going to use something called an upstream key. I won't dig into too much of what keys are because they get a little complicated. Just know that they're going to help us layer two images on top of each other in our live stream. So let's go ahead and configure our upstream key. For this, we're going to jump into the ATEM software control. Once we're in here, we want to jump over to palettes, and then we see different keys here. Depending on what ATEM switcher model you have, you may have a different number of upstream keys. I happen to have four on this model, but you might have less. For this example, I'm going to be using upstream key four. So let's go ahead and click into that. For this example, we're going to use a Luma key. Now a Luma key works by actually keying out or removing whatever is black in the frame. So in our case, we have a black slide with white lyrics on top. So a Luma key will take those white lyrics and keep them while removing all of the black from the screen. Now we need to set our sources. I won't dig in too much to what exactly that means, but just remember that in this section, you need to set both your fill source and your key source to your slides input. So let's do that. After we do that, we're going to ignore this mask checkbox or make sure that it's not checked, and then look at pre-multiplied key. This will automatically apply some settings that generally work for black and white. So we won't touch that yet, but if we need to make small adjustments, we can uncheck that and adjust the clip in the gain manually. Just small adjustments are probably all that's going to be needed, but we're going to stick with pre-multiplied for now. So now that we've got that configured, we should just be able to turn on our key 4 here and just see what happens. And voila! You can see here that our lyrics are showing right smack dab in the middle of the screen. That's obviously not ideal, but there's something that we can do to fix that. We're going to go over here to flying key. If we check that, you can see that our lyrics have moved and they're now in the center of our screen but smaller. All we need to do now is actually adjust where on the screen they fall using these different position and size settings here. Now I happen to know that setting Y to negative 7 puts this right about where I want it. And then after that, you can actually adjust the size a little bit if you want to as well, if you need to make them bigger or smaller. This is looking more like a lower third that we're familiar with. Now obviously, we could have also just changed the slide in ProPresenter so that the lyrics instead of being in the center were down at the bottom, but I like to do it this way in the switcher for a couple of reasons. One, it means I can plug any presentation computer into this and just make sure that the lyrics are showing up in the center, and it will work for me. And because that's the default in most presentation software, this is the easiest way to go. But second, it means that what's happening in our stream is controlled by whoever's controlling our stream. So if we ever needed to move these lower thirds, it would be really easy to do that. Okay, so that was super easy, but what if you've got a more complex lower third that maybe has some colors or other things in it? Well, for that, we're actually going to need to use a chroma key. So let's look at that now. Like I mentioned before, a luma key works by keying out whatever's black on the slide. A chroma key allows you to specify a color that you want to key out and then key that out. This is generally used in something like green screens or other things like that, but it'll work great for our example here as well. So let's go into ProPresenter and take a look at this other slide. We can see it's a Bible verse and it's on this blue background. Now, if we have our Luma key on still, this is going to look rough in our lower thirds. You can see it's starting to get kind of transparent and not look quite right. So we'll need to do a couple of things. One, in ProPresenter, we're going to go into Screens and Configure Screens and change the background of this slide to be a green color. And we will just pick plain green because it works by default 
in our ATEM software control. So now if we clear the slide and pull it back up, we can see here on our broadcast that it's got this green background now. Okay, that's great, but it still doesn't look good on our screens. In fact, it honestly looks worse. So we also need to go into the ATEM software control and change this to a chroma key. So we'll go in here, click chroma, and it's already got green selected here, and our fill source is slides. And you can see here, it's perfectly keyed out the green that we wanted it to. So now we can actually have colors in our lower thirds. One thing to note here is that you won't be able to use the same color as what you're using for your chroma key. So for example, using green on our slides would not be a good idea. This also doesn't work well with gradients and really just solid colors and hard lines. If you need to do more complex things or have a lot of colors in your slides, you're going to need to set up something more complex in ProPresenter, where you're actually sending two signals, both your fill source and your alpha key. This will allow you to actually send transparent layers and set up your keying to be a little bit more sophisticated. We won't cover this here because this is really just getting to the basics, but just know that that's an option and you can research that more on your own. The cool thing about this setup to me is that it opens up a lot of flexibility for you without spending a lot of money. In our situation, we actually run the screens in the room and on our stream from the same ProPresenter computer. We just send copies of the feeds to both places. The only thing you have to be careful about when you're doing that is anytime you want to show graphics on your screen. So let me show you what I mean. If we go into ProPresenter and we actually change to send a graphic, our lower thirds are going to look awful. And so we need to make sure that we're turning those off in time to actually hide that from being shown. It's a little bit more work than if we just always had safe lower thirds to send, but it means we only need one person running ProPresenter and only one computer running ProPresenter. It saves us a lot of money and a lot of manpower. If we want to show the full screen slides, we can do that too. All we need to do is just select the slides input to show and it will be a full screen of whatever that slide is. So we can use this for Bible verses or announcements or videos or anything else that's full screen coming from ProPresenter. Obviously it's more ideal and just easier if you were to have two computers running these things, but this is budget church live streaming. So we make do with what we have. Hopefully this helps you all out. I know that I struggled with this when we first got started and now it's just something that works in the background and I never even think about it. If you're liking this type of video, leave a comment below and consider subscribing so that you don't miss any more of them. All right, until next time.